Welcome family and friends, students and teachers to the class of 2021's consecration ceremony. We thank you and appreciate you for taking your time to witness this monumental moment in all of our lives. This is a huge stepping stone for all of us and we're excited to share this moment with you. Everything you've done has helped us reach this moment and we thank you for it. Again, I welcome you and please enjoy the service. Let's go ahead and uh, bow our heads for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the blessings you have given us. Um, uh, thank you for letting us be here, Lord. Thank you for letting us hit a new chapter in our lives, Lord, and that you may always be here with us, Lord. Please be with our parents and us, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. You may be seated.
God guide our, our careers and our paths. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, Isaac and I have the opportunity no. of presenting to you our speaker for the evening. He is one of our very own teachers, Mr. Steve Estrada. Throughout high school, Mr. Estrada has provided us with much needed support and words of encouragement, always reminding us to give it our all and never give up. He is someone who, no matter how he may be feeling, he always has a smile on his face and is eager to teach. His willingness to always go the extra mile to ensure that we understand and comprehend everything is something that does not go unnoticed. He, lastly, he takes interest not only in our academic lives, but in our spiritual lives as well. Daily, he reminds us of the importance of having a relationship with Christ and making him the center of our lives. So we thank you and appreciate you so much for all that you do and for being not only a mentor to us, but a friend as well. Okay, she took everything what I was gonna say similar. <laughs> well, basically, he's one of my role models. I call him Dad 2.0. But he is an inspiration to me. Before, um, when I was like in fifth grade, I never liked math. But one teacher, this was scared, she was the one who brought me to liking math again. But instead of making sure he, I passed that limit, so I'm in love with math. Everything. And the student, the classmates say, no math, no math for, t for this today, for today. But I'm the only one who says, yes, math, let's go, let's go. So, just want to thank him for that. Thanks, guys. That was really nice. You know, you you think that all the hard work, all the advice that you sometimes you know, when you're talking to these wonderful students, that they're not listening, but they listen. You know, they're, they're, they're well aware, and it's just, um, I'm glad that they had a wonderful year, and I was able to grow with them, right? I learned a lot of things from them, too. You know, teacher, teachers um, have a good concept that we never stop learning. It's a lifelong journey. But before I get into, my, uh, into the, the topic of today, we wanted to do something very special. And I would like um, for the staff to help me. We have a set of Bibles for each graduate. And we kind of wanted to do this handing out of the Bibles as they step into their next phase in their lives. The reason why, there's many reasons, many reasons, but I'd like to highlight this one. Graduates, as you move on to this next phase in your life, this is a big milestone. I could tell, they know it. Some of them got really emotional last day. And I was like, yes, I like, yes, I wanna see that. Realize, acknowledge that there was a lot of hard work that was put in, especially passing my math class. But as they move on to this next step, they're going to be confronted with a lot of new things, right? And I, I would always tell them, hey, yes, right now, yes, studying for finals, a comprehensive final, yes, it's, it's tough, it's stressful. But it, it, 
it, this is teaching you how to cope because the stress only gets, sadly, right, unfortunately. Um, when, we, when we start having more responsibilities, and you guys will start having more responsibilities. Now, to navigate through this world that, in which we're bombarded, there's a bombardment of information with information at our fingertips and hearing all these theories in college and becoming a, a person, a, a, an adult, building your character. It is important we know how to navigate through these waters. And what better, what better way to get advice than from God? Psalms um, one, um, 119, 105 says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Now, this, it may seem a little dark right now, a little exciting. Some of you may be afraid, right, of this new challenge. Am I going to do it? Am I going to be able to do it? Am I going to be able to handle the pressure? Well, I'll tell you what. If you hold this holy, holy book dear to your heart and use it as a lamp to light your path, you will go far. Good evening, <laughs> family friends, and graduates of 2021. It is an honor and privilege to be here um, with you guys. I First, before I get into my speech, I'd like to thank the parents for their constant, constant work with, with, with your children and get, making sure that they have their assignments in and they're doing well performing in class for communicating with us teachers. I also like to thank the teachers that work so hard um, throughout the year, um, molding these young, young, uh, right, good looking set of graduates. And how can we forget Pastor Smith for the tireless work that he's done um, to make sure that everybody is in the right track, uh, not only for academics, but also for a spiritual life. You guys did it. You guys did it. They were, uh, let me tell you, let me, I'll be honest, they were a little afraid. They kept asking, coming into my class, am I gonna, am I gonna be able to graduate? <laughs> especially, especially after they found out it was a comprehensive final, everything since August. So it was a tough test, but they passed. And I'm so proud of them. And I'm sure all um, family and friends are just as proud to see them achieve something so big. Now, like I said, this is a new phase. And although, I, I tell them, although high school is, is, was a fun time, it's, it was a very, very special time. College is even better. Whether you're going to college, whether you're going to trade school, whether you decide to start working, you would, be, you would have more responsibilities now. Expect a lot more from you. But I can say genuinely, and I'm sure the teachers can too, that you guys are ready. So I wanted to give y'all some advice, and what better advice, like I said, than the Bible. So please, whenever you're uncertain with what to do, take advice, take advice. But our ultimate advice should be, should be God, right? A lot of what you're gonna go through is, you know, when I was thinking, it's like, okay, what, are they gonna be going through as they enter this new life? And I started thinking about myself. When I, when I went to college, I went to Southwestern, so I went away from my family. I know some of the students here are planning to study here, which is great. Um, I tell them, I was like, look, if you can stay close to home, from personal experience, it's better. <laughs> but I, when I left, I didn't know what I was getting into. It was, I tell them, I went, blindly. I asked my mom, what do I do? And my poor mom, she was just like, look, I don't know what to do either. 
we'll figure it out together. And I appreciate her for that. And when I took off, and I, I had some, some difficult times at the beginning. I got homesick. I never thought I would say that. And miss my mom's food. Believe me, you're gonna, if you go away, oh, that would happen. Definitely happen. I thought about the story that, uh, of this story, the story of Joseph. We know the story of Joseph, how um, he, was, he, he went to Egypt, not being from Egypt. Now, put yourself in his shoes. He's going to a different, um, it almost feels like a different country in that time. Different culture, different beliefs, different teachings. Now here, uh, I know most of you are planning to go to an Adventist university, great. Also, if it's a public university, excellent. But we need to have that spirit of Joseph. That spirit of Joseph where no matter where he went, it, and I don't want to go and get into the details, but if you, if you look in Genesis 39, Genesis 39, you read the story there where he, his beginnings in Egypt, and you see a phrase repeat itself constantly there. And that phrase is, and Jehovah was, or Christ was with him. And Christ was with him. And Christ was with him. Now, when I, when I analyze this, I think, why didn't they say Joseph was with Christ? Of course, God never leaves our side. But for, for how, I, how, how I interpret it is that Joseph grabbed his Bible. He was like, cherished it and said, Lord, I'm going to a new place where I'm not, I'm not certain what my future is going to be like. All the things that he was going through, he must have been sad, heartbroken, leaving his family. He decided to keep a life with Christ. Now, we're here, and you, you, you guys know that we can't start a class without first seeking God. Okay? But now, you don't have to do it yourself. You're adults now. No one's going to be there. Watch. You didn't read your lesson today. Joseph had it right. He said, look, if I want to be, if I want to know, choose the correct path, if I want to do well here, I need to stay with Christ. And now we continue with the story. Joseph was presented with temptations and different obstacles. He was placed, it says, he was given authority all over his house. He, over, he, 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 was, he was an overseer of the house, of the palace. And it says, he had no worry for anything. Other than his food, of course, right? He ate differently. But uh, they trusted him so much because they saw Christ through him. Because he lived a life with Christ daily. So I thought, man, this, they're, they're going to go through this experience, most of, a lot of them. And whether you stay here too. It's, it's different. It's different. Now, it's scary. And yes, it's going to be harder and more stressful. Um, but it's also going to be one of the best times of your life. Times where you're going to make strong, strong relationships with good friends, lifetime, life, lifelong friends. You're going to also learn, grow in character, grow in personality, become into a wonderful adult, a responsible adult. So here's some advice. Deuteronomy 31, 6, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you, just like he did with Joseph. No matter, no matter if he got accused for something he didn't do and had to spell some jail time, right? 
Imagine being innocent in jail without freedom. Seems harsh, especially after being had, uh, having a, a, a daily relationship with God. But it says that God never left his side and took care of him. Now, most of you are super decided of what your major is. Some of you are, eh. I tell them, it, it's okay, but uh, uh, figure it out quickly. Um, <laughs> first semester, us- I tell them, I was like, usually first semester, you get an idea. Uh, first semester is always the hardest. Guys, I'll tell you that. First semester is very scary, but then you get the hang of it. You won't be calling me to see what classes to take next. You'll be like, ah, I know the bulletin already. But I, I want to leave you with this. Um, whatever you do, if you're still undecided, Another advice, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. So know that whatever you choose is something that you you really, really have a passion for. You know, work, put all your effort in it. So it says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, Colossians 3.23. Romans 12.2 says, do not conform to the pattern of this world. Like I said, this, this generation has to be brave. Has to be brave. Information is, <clears throat> you got to be this way. you got to act this way to be accepted in society. Right? That's why I don't have social media. Like, All right. I'm like, I'm none of <laughs> I'm not trendy at all. But, the Lord says, do not conform to the pattern of this world. Choose to be different. You know, I really liked what Jacob said in the eighth grade graduation. Be yourself. Don't worry about the, what the world's doing so much, but focus on your relationship with God and just decide. Um, go against the grain. Don't be afraid to say, I believe in Jesus, especially for those science majors. Scientific community is, is tough. They don't believe that Christians could be good scientists, right? But don't be afraid. Be proud. Say it with your chest. I believe in God. Proverbs 19, 20, 21, listen to the advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Amen. Amen. Commit to the Lord, whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. It can be daunting to think, I'm going to go into this career, and it's possible I may fail. Right? It's scary. I thought that so many times. But this wonderful promise that God leaves us, commit to the Lord, whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. It's key. It's simple in words, right? But life is a constant, constant battle in which we have to constantly depend on God. We can't do it, guys. It's, It's impossible. Use this Bible, please. And I know you guys will. You guys are very, very spiritual um, young, young uh, men and women. I, I can't be any more proud than this group. This group was a special group. I, I'll, I'll tell you that. I, I, I would describe them as a very diverse group. Um, they, 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 got a, they all got along, but each one had, was, un, was very different and unique in their own way. And I, I really enjoyed that, um, you know, whenever we weren't, weren't in class and we were just outside of the classroom, this group, I knew I could joke around with them and they would not get offended. I love that. I love that. It, it, was a, it was a nice, respectful, like, uh, banter between us. And, and it just helped, it just, it fueled my relationship with them, to get closer and to be able to 
um, show them that, hey, yeah, I may not be your, 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 you know, your mom or your dad um, or a family member who, you know, you know for sure wants the best for you, but believe me, I will put in, I will, I will go the extra mile. I will put in work late hours. I'm not married yet, so I have time. You know, I will, I don't, I'll take the time. They're like, you got to work on that this summer, Mr. Estrada. You got to work on that. Now, as I as I as I got to know them a lot better, I I just wrote down. I, I did this practice with them actually, um, where I was like, I could describe each one of you, you know, using a word or two. It, it, it's just it, it's so interesting to see the different personalities, right? I can't approach one student the way I approach another. I, you have to learn and navigate. So Caesar, tech genius. For Caesar, Caesar, like I said, I'm very old school in, in technology, but I had to I had to learn, and now I love it. But as I was learning and reading up on technology, Caesar was the guy. Lauren, so studious and ambitious. Was Lauren? Hello, Lauren. Lauren, uh, she kept me on my toes. Let's just say that. I had to be very prepared. JP, uh, JP, Juan Pablo. Don't say Juan Pablo. Nice. Competitive. You know, when I would see him play, play sports, I said, if you had that same spirit of, he wanted that ball. He, you know, even in games, he would say, give me that. Like, you just wanted it so bad. Now, if you apply that to your studies, and <laughs> and to building that relationship with, with Jesus, you're going to go far. Natalie Mart Martinez, last year, um, I would call her TikTok queen. Um, the reason why was because she was my first period, and first period is where we pick up phones. So she was always the last one to put her phone in. It didn't bother me, but I would, it would always get, t get me off guard because she would be either, I don't know, what she, I don't have TikTok or most social media, so I didn't, I didn't understand. And um, I told her, you know what? She asked me for extra credit one day, and I said, you know what? Your extra credit assignment, make a, a, a TikTok video about math. About math. And she did it. She did it. I thought she was just going to be like, mm, no. But she did it. So I would say Natalie's trendy. Jacob Luna. Ooh. What can I say? No, the, what I could say is not only that he's a very handsome man. Hi, John. It's an inside joke. Argumentative and logical, and I love that, because I love to argue too. <laughs> I was like, look, if you come to me with a, with a good, uh, with a good uh, argument, um, I like that, I, you know, I, I don't, I, we'll go into the argument. And I love the way he, um, he just, he was free thinker. You know, and I like that. I really, really enjoyed that in, in our long talks, Jacob. Marjorie. Marjorie, sincere. Sincere. And a great singer. I told, I would tell you, when we were on the trip, she was singing, but she was singing um, kind of like under her breath. I was like, go ahead, don't be afraid. I feel like you are singing with like a little fear, timid. No, no, no. The only way you're going to get better is if you keep practicing don't be afraid to mess up. You get better. Sincere, uh, because um, what you see is what you get with Marjorie. And it, it was so nice that you know she was able to, um, you know, as these past few years, as I've got to to teach them, I, you know, it's I've grown and learned a lot from Marjorie. Francisco Chavira, he's a lovable guy. Chavira, lovable. 
I just want to hug him. I'm like, wait, 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 six feet. I go in, I'm like, oh. Stephanie Vega. Let me say this before I, I, I mess this word up. <laughs> Methodical. Methodical. Meaning she thinks very carefully, very carefully about what she's going to say which is a skill that I learned from her a lot. <laughs> it made me realize, hey, you know, as a teacher sometimes, you're given, you know, your, your freedom to, talk, to speak. And, you know, you ask God to guide you and help you to choose the correct words. But knowing Steffi, the way she, 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 when she talks to me and, you know, we started working together and tutoring and um, getting her ready for some exams, I, I, I really appreciated the way that what she said was very carefully thought out. So thank you, Steffi. Jeremy Bonilla, cheerful. You know, I, they said that I, was, I always had a smile. I try to always have a smile, you know, because um, no matter what you're going through, they don't, they're not in those problems. They don't deserve that. So every time I, I come into class, I try to be bubbly and energetic and, hey, guys, how are you doing? Especially coming into a math class. They already dread it. So it's, I, mean, I mean, from the beginning, it's a math class. They're dragging their feet. But I have to be very, very, very energetic to try to see if I can transmit that energy to them. But Jeremy didn't need that. Jeremy, Jeremy always had that smile. And I really appreciate that, that no matter what, you, it's a skill that I admire. And I told them this, to be able to, whatever you, you're going through, being able to always put on a smile. So thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Narelle Miller Morrison. Narelle, it was so nice to see you, uh, get to know you this year. She came from FLA, so the word I chose from her from Florida, she came here to, to take her last year here. Adaptable. Wow. She slipped right in. And I was like, you know, she just got along with everybody and um, she was just very open with me and told me, you know, would tell me where her struggles were, where she needed to improve. And I really appreciate that and, and admire that from you. So keep that up. Eliezer Salazar, charismatic. <laughs> oh, man, there's a load, load, load of charisma there. Um, especially when he's speaking in Spanish. He would try to sweet talk me, but... Teacher, come on, come on. You could push the test. And you know, I would almost fall for it. I would almost fall for it. I'm like, whoa, this guy. It was awesome meeting you, Eliezer, and I wish you the best. Serena, professional. Professional. She's already a professional over here. I'll tell you why. Um, she was one of my, sadly, one of my online students. Um, we wanted her here, but we understand the situations and how it is, this crazy world, so we've had to adapt. But Serena, no matter if the internet <laughs> was down here, she would always reach me. Um, not to say Jeremy wouldn't, but <laughs> Serena was not only when the internet was down, but to see what was next, to see, um, or if I had received an assignment and just very professional with her emails and you know communicating. So um, keep that up. Um, that's gonna go far in this next next step in college. Leslie, Leslie Gutierrez. I wrote down leader, as you can see, president. Um, she was just uh, what she would she would round up the group and you know they. They trusted her leadership, and I saw that. I, you know, sometimes they think I'm not listening. I'm just like over there in the corner, but I, I observe, and and I really noticed that from Leslie, and I, I I'm very happy for you. Keep that up. Um, there's, it's hard to be a leader. It's hard to be a leader, but uh, you definitely have that quality. So, Dariela Erazo, the orator. 
Wow, she was good at public speaking. Um, how can I miss the Honduras flag? Um, yes, the orator. She, I, the, she invited me. I was a sub still, I think, and she invited me to go. She was director of of uh, the AY um, in the afternoon, and she invited me. I went to go watch her preach, and it, I was just impressed to see such. You know, a young, I think you were 16 at the time or something. Um, yeah, somewhere around there. I was like, that just makes me so happy to see youth go up there. You know, people get tired of hearing the old people talk. Okay? And boring. But to see someone so young and vibrant, to not be afraid, not shy away, and speak about the thing, uh, about God, and, and, and be able to meditate in his word publicly, like you did, was amazing. So... Like, I, like I've been saying, keep that up. Those are good, good qualities. And lastly, but not least, Isaac, my son. Let me tell you what. He, he, was, one of, he was the first student to, to refer to me as kind of like a father figure. And I had never had that someone say that to me before. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> No, um, or I don't have kids. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not at, in that level yet. That's a, I'm, I'm working on it. So, um, it just, op you know, opened my, it just melted my heart. And I remember one day, I was talking to a kid, and and I said, innocently, I was just like, um, hope you have a good day, son. He looked at me. I'm your son. <laughs> what is this? I really appreciate that, Isaac. I really do. It, it just, um, it makes me work even harder because I'm like, if this young boy or young man sees me as a father figure, I have to be at my best. I have to do my best. But the word I wrote down for him, mathematician. <laughs> mathematician. He would do math for fun. He, I saw a lot of myself in him. Um, so keep that up, and hopefully you become a math major or something like that. All right, two, kind of went overboard, I'm sorry. Um, it's just, I got so much, so many things that I could say about these, this wonderful group of graduates. I just wish you the best. You did it, guys, you did it. It probably hasn't settled in yet, but you did it, okay? And as you go in, don't forget, always depend on God. Walk with him, because he will show you. He will show you the way. Things are uncertain. We, some things aren't clear. But if you walk with God, he will make your, he would light your path. So don't forget that. And I wish you the best. Love you guys so much. And please don't forget about us. We're here. Send me an email once in a while. <laughs> now, um... I would like to pray. Um, so may we bow our heads for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for, for education, Lord. We thank you for this, these wonderful parents who have worked so hard to, to prepare these students, not only for college, for work, for the professional life, but also for the, for the heavenly life, right? The, the life that we so, so desire. So Lord, continue to bless these families, continue to bless these wonderful children, help them, and I ask you, Lord, to please, please continue, no matter what their plans may be, but to put in their hearts and to show and reveal yourself in their lives. We thank you for the, the abundant, abundant blessings that you bestow on us daily. I ask you, I, I, we thank you and we ask you, Lord, to continue, please, especially with these children as they go on to this next step. Lord, help this institution as well. Help us as staff, as the um, administration, to continue in the direction that you want us to go.
because an edu education without you is no education at all. Thank you so much for everything you do for us and for the love that you show us. A love that shows no bounds. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.
Well, I'm proud of you guys, seniors. You know, this group is the first official graduating class of Houston Adventist Academy. say a senior academy in Houston, Texas. You know, I, I was looking at some of the pictures and um, I got the privilege of meeting some of them that young, like Mr. Isaac here and Jake and Daddy. Hola, Pastor. Remember that? That was younger. Some of you have seen grown up too. Me and Francisco got a we got love for each other. Marjorie, my New Yorker. Let me tell you about Cesar Ureña. His dad was my pastor when I was a teenager. Pastor Ureña fue mi pastor in New York when he was an adolescent. How life just turns around, right? Got to serve him now here, sitting here. Stephanie, a long time since she was small too. Jeremy. JP, my baller. That left, though. I don't know about that left, but we'll talk about it later. Serena, in a few years, too. Seeing her grow up. Who am I missing? Oh, Miss Lauren Barnwell. I don't know. She got some arguments. Some good ones, too. Leslie, Madam President. Mr. Steve wasn't kidding when he said that Salazar can talk a good game. No sé si el ser va a ser pastor o abogado, pero he's on the right track. Because he got it. He knows how to say and try to convince you. I'm going to leave Narelle for last so she don't have fun with her in a minute. Natalie Martinez. I remember seeing Natalie for a while growing up and we finally made it. And you know who was the one student that challenged us this summer before coming here? It was Miss Narell. She was moving from the Forest Lake Academy in Florida, a big established academy. And she grilled me for two hours. Can I get a witness, parents? Two hours. Because she wasn't going to throw away her senior year at a random school. And I appreciated that. And I think we have surpassed our expectations. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so proud of you. And this moment, I just want to, who am I missing? 2021, my bad. I'm stuck in one year, like I see? Pandemic, I forgot, 2021, my fault. Class 2020, I owe you one, I know. Carter, my bad, COVID. I have some awards um, as principal of the academy. Um, during the last six weeks, I've been receiving um, envelopes in the mail from different universities and different awards um, that the students receive based on their academic achievement, combination with their SAT scores, in combination with of their leadership and service that some of the universities conference in the union have seen about this I've seen of the students in the past not just this year the last few years and I have one here that I received that I wasn't expecting receiving this kind of award from one of our students but this this award comes from the Southwestern Union and the North American Division Adventist Education Department and it's called the uh, Caring Heart Award. It says this Caring Heart is awarded to a student who shows Christian, ser Christian service and is given a recognition of your demonstrated leadership and personal commitment to witnessing and service activities. I was very surprised that someone was paying attention to one of our students doing witnessing 
and service outside of our campus. And I received this presentation letter, a scholarship from the Southwestern Union and the North American Division in the amount of $500, which is a voucher that they can use towards registration or tuition in any Adventist school. And this was sent, including a Bible, personalized Bible, for Dariela Eraso. Now I also receive information and from universities that give out scholarships and I'll be reading the names and for some I have an actual certificate, others came in a form of an email. This one came in a form of email uh, from Oakwood University in Alabama. It is the it is the Platinum Scholarship Award for $27,000 for Ms. Lauren Barnwell. If you haven't noticed in your, in your bulletins, it tells you the cords and some of the things that the students are wearing and Lauren is our valedic valedictorian. So congratulations, Lauren, for your excellent academic year. That's nice, Mr. Tico, thank you. I have awards from Southern University for five students, a total of between the five, okay, of $92,000. And the first one goes to for $24,000 for Lauren M. Barnwell. <laughs> the second one is for $18,000 for Southern Adventist University, and it is for Jeremy Bonilla. This next award is for $26,000, and it's for Leslie Gutierrez. This one is for $8,000, and it is for Mr. Cesar Ureña. I have one more from Southern. It is for $16,000, and it is for our salutatorian, Stephanie Vega. The other university that I received a certificate for, uh, for is from Union College, which is in Nebraska, for $38,000 for Nyrell Miller Morrison. Uh-oh, some decision making to make with that one. I have another one from Walla Walla University, de la Universidad de Walla Walla, for $43,500 for Cesar David Ureña.
I purposely left the best university in the Southwestern Union for last. Southwestern, my alma mater, of course. And um, representing Southwestern to give out the awards this evening is Mr. Tony Reyes. He is the Vice President of Advancements for Southwestern Adventist University. Good evening. Are you guys happy? Are you guys excited? I see some dot, uh, some Astros hats here, some Astros hats over there. From a Dodger fan, I forgive you. Okay, just saying. <laughs> so, the uh, Southwestern Adventist uh, University is very pleased to be here this evening and celebrate with you guys this evening. You have come to a milestone in your life. And from now on, you will start veering in one direction or the other. But just make sure that the direction that you're headed is the one where God wants you to go. He has given you a skill set. Each one of you has a skill set. Each one of you has a purpose in this life. Each one of you have a, a part of God's plan. So make sure. That you have your eyes and your ears and your heart open to hear the Holy Spirit. So this evening, oh, by the way, I went, I'm a Houston, I'm a Houston boy. I went to Houston Junior Academy. Is anybody here that went to Houston Junior Academy? It was in Yupon. It was right on Montrose. I went there, and then I was in the transition when I went over to Campbell Road as Greater Houston Adventist Academy. Adventist education is the best education that exists, because I believe it's God's purpose for each one of you and for each one of us. And if I were to tell you the stories and where God has taken me, with my Adventist education, that many people do not give much value to it, you would be amazed. Having the opportunity to be with President Obama, with some of the Forbes 500 uh, businesses, that's where God has taken me. With my Adventist education, and God wants to use each and every one of you. And he wants to use you for a purpose. And he's using all of us for a purpose. He's using your teachers. And this is a celebration not only for you guys. We believe Adventist education is a three-part formula. It's the home. It's the school. And it's the church. The church puts a lot of money towards Adventist education. The conference, the union, the division, the local church. So students, if you receive something from your local church, I'm going to challenge you this, this uh, evening. Write a thank you letter to your local church. Write a thank you letter. Tell, thank you for supporting me. It will go a long way. And to each one of you, if we were all to reach out to four or five of your friends that have kids in school age, talk to them about Houston Adventist Academy. This is God's school in Houston. And he wants to use it because he has a message that he's got to tell the world. And he wants to use these kids to do that and prepare them for that. So, with that being said, this is an awards, right? It's not a sermon, I'm sorry. 
But I was, I was, I know it was Adventist education at Spring Branch, and I was, I, I spoke on Adventist education at Robertson this morning. So it's Adventist education. So let's let's take the whole day and use it up. With that being said, I want to give out some awards. Southwestern continues our long-standing tradition of being one of the, mo one of the most affordable, if not the most affordable, Seventh-day Adventist institution of higher education in the North American division. And the scholarships we present today help us continue that tradition. The total amount that will be awarded today in total is gonna to be $207,000. And I'll start with the names here. We have receiving the Academic Dean Award for $16,000, Stephanie Vega. <laughs> also receiving two different scholarships, the Achievement Award Scholarship for $12,000, and the Leadership Scholarship for being an officer, a total of $16,000, Cesar Ureña. <laughs> Receiving the Admission Award is for $8,000 is Marjorie Cervellon. Cervellon. Receiving the Achievement Award for $12,000, Eliezer Salazar. <laughs> Receiving the Achievement Award for $12,000 is Juan Pablo Rodriguez. Receiving three different scholarships, the Academic, Academic Dean Award for $16,000, the Leadership Scholarship as an Officer for $4,000, and the Southwestern Union Freshman Scholarship for $3,000 for a total of $23,000 is Nairel Miller Morrison. <laughs> Receiving the Achievement Award for $12,000 is Natalie Martinez. <laughs> Receiving the Achievement Award for $12,000 is Jacob Luna. Receiving the Academic Dean Award is wait a minute, for $16,000 is Leslie Gutierrez. <laughs> Receiving the uh, Achievement Award for $12,000 is Sarina Inse. Receiving the Achievement Award for $12,000 and the Leadership Scholarship for being the President is six, for a total of $16,000 is Dariela Erazo. <laughs> Receiving the Achievement Award and Leadership Scholarship Officer for a total of $16,000, Jeremy Bonilla. And finally, receiving 
the Southwestern Award of Excellence for $32,000 and the Leadership Scholarship for being the valedictorian is Lauren Barnwell for a total of $36,000. Each one of you is eligible, again, the church being part of the formula, each one of you is eligible for the $3,000 scholarship given to those who reside in the state of New Mexico, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, or Oklahoma. So each one of you, if you apply and you deposit, you will receive this $3,000. So, Congratulations, class of 2021. Give them a big round of applause. Estrada, you said I was a good speaker, but now I just got nervous, so. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming this evening for this special occasion for every single one of us sitting up here. We're gonna pray before we leave, but we're gonna pray first in English and following up by Spanish prayer, so please stay reverent. Gracias a todos por asistir el día de ahora a este evento tan especial para cada uno de nosotros que estamos aquí sentados. Vamos a hacer una oración antes de irnos. Vamos a orar en inglés y luego en español. Please stand up so we can pray. Pónganse de pie para orar. Let's pray, oremos. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for bringing us up to this moment in our lives when we're thankful, Lord, because we made it. Even though this is not the end of the way, we have more to go. We trust in you, Lord. We're thankful for all the teachers that you put in our way, and we're thankful for every single one of our parents that tried their best to, to get us where we are now. Thank you for everything you're doing for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amor a su buen Padre Celestial, que tu morada está en lo alto de los cielos. Gracias por este día, por las bendiciones que nos ha dado. Gracias porque hemos terminado esta etapa en nuestras vidas. Aunque no es la etapa final, es un gran paso para cada uno de nosotros. Por favor, llévenos con bien a nuestras casas y gracias por cada uno de nuestros padres. En el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Amén. <tose>